Three Inventions That Accidentally Killed the Most People Ever Thomas Midgley Jr. was the man behind leaded gasoline. The gasoline of the early 20th century was of poor quality. It burned unevenly and damaged the engines. This caused knocking that ruined the cylinders. Midgley changed the fuel's chemical makeup. He added bromine and tetraethyl lead. Bromine came from seawater. It's now used in pool treatment to kill bacteria. In engines, it blocked the buildup of lead oxide. In 1921, leaded gasoline was born. It solved knocking and boosted engine life. The company called it ethyl. They avoided the word lead in all advertising. At least seven workers died making it. They had seizures, hallucinations, and went insane. Midgley himself got lead poisoning. He had to take a long vacation to recover. Lead in gas was a global health disaster. It poisoned children's blood and brains. It lowered IQ and increased violent behavior. Lead was later linked to spikes in crime rates. In 1928, Midgley switched fields. He joined Frigidaire to make safer refrigerants. At the time, fridges used deadly chemicals. Ammonia, sulfur dioxide, and chloromethane were common. They were toxic, flammable, or both. Midgley created a new gas, dichlorodifluoromethane. It mixed chlorine, carbon, and fluorine. The mixture was named CFC, or a chlorofluorocarbon. The trademark given for this product was Freon. It was used as a refrigerant and aerosol spray propellant. By 1974, CFCs were destroying the ozone layer. That layer protects Earth from UV radiation. Freon made the planet more vulnerable to cancer and heat. In 1940, Midgley caught polio. He became severely disabled. He built a rope and pulley system to lift himself from bed. One day, he got tangled in it. He died strangled by his own invention.